Who's that? Don't answer it. Probably telemarketers. That's right. They dialed our doorbell. Go get it. <sighs> Mr. Leroy? Yes? I'm Jonathan Zanetta. I was the foster child from Kenya you sponsored. I, I was in Canada, and I thought I'd come visit the family who sponsored me so I could thank them. You're welcome. What? I didn't even know you guys sponsored a child in Africa. Yep. Blew a lot of cups of coffee in this kit. And thanks to your generosity, I was able to escape the squalor of my existence and become a doctor. Oh. I always knew he'd grow up to be a doctor. You didn't even understand the program. We should sponsor a foster child. <laughs> Why can't Ed Foster take care of his own kids? Ed, Emma wants us to buy one of your kids. You just don't get it, do you? Ed Foster would have sold one if you hadn't been so rude. How about you, Brent? What was your childhood like? I was able to escape the squalor of my existence to take over the gas station. A doctor. Oh, sorry, this thing is jammed. Can't seem to get the money drawer open. Awesome, thanks. No. Can you help me? Sure. Just make sure you don't rip the drawer off the tracks. You have another one of these, right? Hey, I have added some new items to the menu you guys might want to check out. Delicious bean salad. It doesn't sound very good. Yeah, I'm not really in the mood for a fabulous falafel. I'll just stick with my usual. Oh, me too. Fine, two hamburgers coming right up. Make mine bunless. Carbs, you know. Hey, something's broken, you didn't call me? Figured it was already busted, so what could you do? The drawer was stuck. You try yanking on it as hard as possible? Yeah. Well, that's all I got. I'll use a calculator to ring these up. Oh, calculator? Come on, just use that big brain. Do it in your head. Come on, it'll be fun. OK. That'll be 7, 37. Man, that was awesome. <laughs> okay, so if I give you a 10, how much change? $4.13. Jeez, that was fast. Did you see how fast she could do that? Do-de-do. Yeah, right. That was fast, but it wasn't the right answer. Well, maybe if you hadn't broken my cash register, Hank wouldn't have gotten ripped off. Hank wasn't the one who got ripped off. Oh. Hey, Lacey. I'd like you to meet my brother, Jonathan. Hi there. Nice to meet you. That's it? I say I have a brother? You don't even bat an eye? You say a lot of things. I'm done with batting my eyes. Whoa, wait, wait. But you got a brother, and I just find out about it now? I thought we were friends, and this stinks. Was that so hard? He's not my actual brother. He's my parents' foster son, Jonathan. Oh. Someone got the hair in the family. He's a doctor. <laughs> I always knew one of my boys would grow up to be a success. <laughs> hey, I'm Hank, Brent's best friend, and we're like brothers. More like cousins, really. Second or third cousins. Is there such a thing as a fifth cousin? That would be us. Would you like something to eat, Jonathan? That would be great, thank you. I have just added a few new items to the menu. May I suggest the pleasurable papaya salad? Oh, uh, no thanks. I'll just have a grilled cheese sandwich. Make it two. My doctor son's buying me lunch today. <laughs> and a couple of coffees, too. I'd say you owe me. Man, that can't be easy. Listen to your father go on about how proud he is of Jonathan? Or listening to your father, period. I mean, just because he's a doctor and you work at a gas station doesn't mean you've wasted your life. Yeah, somebody's got to pump gas for the healers. You can't do math. But you're the smartest person in town. 
Einstein couldn't do basic math very well, and yet he came up with the theory of relativity. Which I understand, by the way. Right. But four times six is... I know other things. Quantum physics, anthropology. Do you know the conflicting forces applied in this tetrahedron? You heard me. Tetrahedron. Wow. Too bad you can't get a Nobel Prize for stacking stuff. You see, this witty bounder is exactly why I don't want people to know I'm no good at math. You gotta help me. I'm busy. I may not be great with numbers, but I figure it's gonna cost about 200 bucks to fix a cash register, which Brent does or doesn't need to know you broke. Busy helping you with math. <laughs> hey, Brent. What are you doing for dinner tonight? Eating? Well, come eat at our house. I want to have dinner tonight, the whole family. That sounds nice, thanks. Don't talk with your mouth full. I hope you got enough food, Emma, because nobody can eat like old Brent here. Jonathan probably can't even eat as much as Brent, and he's a doctor. You're not coming over for dinner, if that's what you're getting at. No, 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 I'm just saying, when it comes to eating, Brent can pack it down more than anyone. It's like a hippopotamus. Thanks, Hank. <laughs> There she is. Wanda, show my son the doctor. We're not all rubes here. Do something smart. Well, I could point out that you don't have a son who's a doctor. See, I know about genetics. Must come in handy when you're ringing up bread and motor oil. Do that math thing that Hank says you can do in your head. Rock him up. Actually, I'm training people now in uh, math. Karen? Uh, the items come to nine dollars and forty-three cents. Really? What do you mean, really? She's right. See how smart Wanda is? <laughs> but she did. Oh yeah, Karen. If you keep practicing, one day you might be as uh, well, smart as Wanda, <laughs> or my doctor son. Yeah. What are the odds of that? Seriously, Wanda. What are the odds? 50-30? 60 12? Ooh, French bread. Fancy dinner? Yeah. I want to impress my special little guy. You know, sometimes you spoil, Brent. No, I'm talking about Jonathan. I want to make something new. Me too. I've been making new stuff at the Ruby, but I can't get anyone to try it. Well, you need a marketing trick. You know, I don't know if I believe in all that marketing stuff. Oh! Coke Classic is on sale. Oh, I love Coke Classic. Oh, and Classic Spaghetti Sauce. Maybe I should get some of that. You're listening to Classic 107. All classics, all the time. Coming up, another classic hit from a dynamite band on our All Classic Weekend. I've got it. Try my new dynamite chili. Ooh, I don't think so. Aw, I thought that'd be a classic. Ooh, if you had classic chili, I'd have that. Okay, now I get it. Is that duck? You never made duck for me before. It's not every day we have a special guest from out of town. No, seems more like every week. I bet they never fed you like this back home, eh, Johnny? They sure didn't. <laughs> Jonathan, eat your vegetables. That's not how I raised you. From a distance. That's a... Good point, Mom. Maybe Jonathan should eat my vegetables, too, as punishment. Everyone's eating their asparagus. There are people starving in Aphrodina. Hey, everyone. Sorry to interrupt dinner, but I just wanted to show Jonathan and remind his mom and dad of this ball of string Brent collected in grade six. Jonathan's a doctor, not a kitten. Well, this was the second uh, biggest in our class. Brent saves string. <laughs> Jonathan saved a village. Oh, not a whole village. So, what's the special today, Lacey? Something really exotic? No, nope. just a classic goat cheese omelet. Classic, huh? Mmm, that was great. <laughs> hey, Hank, try the classic goat cheese omelet. Oh, goat and cheese in the same omelet? I'm in. I'll get one of those classics, too. Sounds good. Okay, two more goat cheese omelets coming up. I mean, two classic goat cheese omelets coming up. <laughs> Gotta love those classics. Mm. Huh? Mm. <laughs> Are you sure you know where you're going? Yes. Yes? Yes, 
Mom? And don't dawdle on your way over there. Oh, and put this sweater on. Oh. Oh, don't say ought to be, young man. Put it on. There you go. Here's your classic goat cheese omelets. Oh, and Brent, your mom phoned. She wants you to call her as soon as Jonathan gets here, safely. Odd, but OK. Yeah, he found his way over from Kenya. Hopefully, he can make it to the Ruby. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want him to get lost in the metropolis of Dog River. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. You're funny. What about what I said? <laughs> Not so much, no. But Brent, he's funny and a successful owner of a gas station. I mean, doctors around the world would be envious of your wit and gas. Huh? Going on a picnic, huh? No, I'm shingling a roof. Oh. Hey, you're good at math. Maybe you can help me out. The roof is 15 feet by 44 feet. Uh-huh. And if each bundle of shingles covers eight square feet... Sorry, I'm just in the middle of a call. Then how many bundles of shingles do I need to cover the whole roof? Come on. That's a simple one. Somebody call 911? No. Weird. Must be a mistake. But since you're here, Glenn has an interesting question about shingling a roof. I, I got this clicking sound in my knee. I'll get my son to look at it. I don't want Brent touching my knees. Oh, not Brent, my good son. Jonathan. <laughs> Here's what he looked like when we first got him. <laughs> not bad, huh? And all it cost me was just a few pennies a day. I'm over here, Oscar. <laughs> yeah. All right, according to my calculations, if your roof was 44 feet by 15 feet, you would need 82 and a half bundles of tiles. Well, if you don't mind, I'm going to get a second opinion. Sure. Call a hardware store. How'd she do, Wanda? Well, you know, the math was bang on, but... Karen, they're called shingles, not tiles. Sorry about that, Glenn. I know how hard it is to find good people. Ugh. Hey, Brent, can I borrow some money for a beer? One thing about my buddy Brent is he's got a lot of money, and he's always willing to be generous with it. Sorry, Ash, I'm a little short on cash right now. He also keeps me on a tight leash. Need a 20? Thanks, man. <clears throat> and I always pay my debts. That's what Brent taught me. Worth 20 bucks? Sorry about calling 911 before. No problem. There was a car accident just outside town, but that's really nothing compared to a roofing emergency. Well, that's the spirit. I just wish you wouldn't belittle me in front of everyone. I have to keep up appearances. Fine, but could you be a little more considerate? Fair enough. Hey, Wanda. Got some great numbers over here you should add up. Lots of sevens. Sorry. Too busy tutoring Constable Kindergarten over here. <laughs> Just keeping up appearances. Hey, Phil. I see you got the classic nachos there. Uh-huh. You want some? Nope. <laughs> but I know what you're up to. What? You know what I'm saying. They're classic. Someone needs to drive Lacey home. Another interesting thing about Brent, I'm sure he's a little on the heavy side, but he's got a great center of gravity. Watch this. He can't move the guy. When you say Africa's war-torn, how bad would it be compared to this? You set the timer on this thing. It's the button on the... I know what I'm doing, jackass. Let me fix your tie. I think it's pretty good. It's yeah. too bad you have to leave. Oh, wouldn't it be great if you moved here, opened up your own practice? Aren't the foster selling? You could move into the foster home. Don't pressure the guy. Maybe he doesn't want to live in Dog River. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to live in Dog River? <laughs> he wouldn't say no to his foster parents. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. It'd be fun to live here. Yeah. I don't want to stay here. I really don't want to stay. You've got to help me. How am I going to help you? They're your foster parents. 
Just tell them you don't want to stay. But by saying I don't want to live here, I would be implying that living in a poverty-stricken part of the world dealing with disease-ridden citizens would be preferable to living in Dog River. Yeah, I guess that could come across as offensive. Especially if you say it like that. Plus, your mum's driving me crazy. Really? What about Dad? He's okay. Huh. Yeah, maybe you're not a good fit. And Lacey deceiving everyone by putting classic in front of food to get people to buy it. Lacey's doing what? So I'll just put this on your tab then? I'll hang on to your gas cap till you pay it. You thought you were fooling me into buying something because you called it classic. I didn't think I was fooling you. I was fooling you. That's not the same at all. I'm not eating here today. The point is, you tried new dishes and you liked them. No, the point is, I can't trust you and your slick marketing tricks. I'm going to the bar for some nachos. Hey, one. I want you to figure out how much Lacey ripped me off with her classic trick. You know the Norse god of tricks was Loki? Son of Odin. Yeah, let's see. I had the classic pad thai for $7.99, classic endive salad with artichokes and raspberry vinaigrette for $8.99, and the classic sea bass for $11.99. How much did I spend? Well, um... Hey, Karen! Student protege. She can do it. Do what? Add up $7.99, $8.99, and $11.99. And the taxes. Go ahead. Show them what I taught you. I'll try. Can I use a pencil? Or crayons, because that's how we do math in kindergarten. Use finger paints if you have to. Oh, you look handsome. So grown up in a tie. Good photo, huh? That's very nice, but where's Brent? Oh, that's his elbow right there. Well, you cut me out of the picture? People around here know what you look like. Well, at least we got your good elbow. I, I have a bad elbow? Hey, everyone. Check out this yo-yo. Brent, show everybody how you walk the dog. <sighs> All right. Enough of this. I can't take it anymore. Look, I'm not proud of this, but despite my gluttony and my awesome string collecting abilities, I do feel inadequate next to Jonathan. And I think he should leave. That's how I really feel. Really. I think Davis deserves to see the master at work. Yeah, I want to see the master. So what is it, master? And don't forget the taxes. 46.87. Amazing. Well, not so amazing. This calculator says 32.74. Well, that's embarrassing. Karen screws it up even using the calculator. What? Well, it's the only logical explanation. Yep. Close the book on that puzzle. <laughs> Have a nice day, everybody. Okay, you know what? I broke the cash register, and Wanda can't do math, so I was the one doing the math. The basic simple math that anyone can do, except Wanda. Okay, someone's been working too hard. I'm taking Karen home. No! I'm the math master! And no more cool brain tricks till I get back. What's a thousand plus a million? So are you. You're Davis, no more math. <laughs> Who wants to conjugate some Latin? We want math. That's nonsense. He's not leaving. I don't know what's come between you boys, but you never fought like that when you were kids. Where did we go wrong with them? I don't like the way Dad favors Jonathan over me. Either he goes or I go. Can you work a gas pump? Why are you listening to Oscar? I mean, it's Oscar. You know? Oscar. Oscar. I, I can't be any more clear than that. I just don't measure up. Hank was right. Oh, if I had a nickel every time I heard that. Please, please, Brent's right. I see that it was a huge mistake to come here. And make Brent feel bad. Anyway, gotta go pack. What? It's for the best. Right, Hank? It's just trying to build you up, man. I didn't think you were going to attack your brother. It's just a ball of string, man. I can't thank you enough. You've really saved me. By saving you, I've saved hundreds of lives in Africa. Guess that makes me a hero. You sure you don't want to come with me? 
Well, believe me, it's tempting, but one of us has to stay behind and run the family business. Oh, Mom wants you to wear this sweater. I will. But only as far as the airport. Now you're learning. Jonathan says hello. He's working on getting a hospital built in Nigeria. Wow, that's impressive. Yeah, I'd do that too, but I am neck deep in wiper fluid over there today, so. Davis, welcome. Oh, listen, I'm sorry about everything. Oh, that's okay. I guess sometimes business can get in the way of friendship. Well, I won't let it happen again. What can I get you? An old fashioned roast beef sandwich or a home style stew? Ooh. Home style stew sounds perfect. How much is some milk plus some chips uh, multiplied by a magazine? Divided by diapers. Get off me! Cash register's fixed. Oh, thank God. How much do I owe you? $170 plus tax. Oh, uh, well, plus shipping and handling. What's that make it? Oh, shut up. online, visit us at cornergas.com.